nation I'll invite the world to stay So everyone can see A picture of Dorian Gray Hello, Pop Pickers, and everybody all over the music world. I'm your host, I'm Texas Bob Juarez, and welcome to the Creation Dream Machine. Hello. Episode 5, and we're staying alive! Yeah. Now, on today's show, we have Thou Romeo, the Scarlet Pimpernel of rock, the unassuming, the mysterious, the man that harks back to the glory days, the zeitgeist of glam rock. On episode five, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? He was in the Hollywood Hills performing at the Creation Dream Machine on June 13th, 2020. Nobody knew who he was, but he appeared like a wizard. <laughs> When you witness his performance, one will say, and many will say, it was incendiary. It, we were transcended to another place. You were transcended to the 70s. Harken back with the sounds of Cockney Rebel, Steve Harley. Sweet Bowie. Roxy Music. T-Rex, people were enchanted by his performance, and there were lovely maidens saying, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? With a lovely, loving tribute to glam rock. Thou Romeo takes the music into the future. The some may say the synth pop hero of Los Angeles. The city of angels. Thou Romeo will embark on a tour in February 2022 with Alan McGee for the Creation Dream Machine Tour. Los Angeles, San Francisco, and the Big Apple, New York City. You don't want to miss it. The Creation Dream Machine Tour with Alan McGee. Now, you girls don't want to miss it. Thou Romeo is going to be stripping down. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> and now, Thou Romeo performing a stripped down version with his band, Primal Screams, come together. Check it out. And now, Thou Romeo. Didn't they kill themselves? So, I guess I'd say neither. I hate to love, but I love to hate. Definitely Britpop. Pulp is probably one of my favorite bands of all time, so definitely 100% Britpop and Pulp. Wouldn't it be great to have morning glory during an old time story. <laughs> Liam, if 
by far. I think he's hilarious. Uh, I love watching his interviews, so, Liam. And now for something completely different. All right, one, two, three, four. Oh